What is up, my brothers and sisters in Christ? Me and my wife are just sitting here watching the news, and we heard the news about Donald Trump. And we just want to send our condolences to the person that got shot and didn't make it. Uh, and I just want to remind you guys that when you take God out of a country, the country goes crazy, and we're so divided right now, and we need Jesus Christ more than we've ever needed him ever. I mean, this is just nonsensical violence over stuff that does not need to happen. And I just want your all's prayers for mm -hmm. Donald Trump and for the families of the victims and the person that's hurt in, that's hurt bad. And we just want to uh, pray with you guys real quick. Uh, I want to say it's emotional. It's very emotional that our countries went down this route again. What for? Why? And mainstream media has caused all of this, would you say? Yeah. But We're taking God out of everything. We need God more than ever. And I truly believe that God was there. I believe, I mean, just by watching it, I see, I believe that God just took his hand and went like that. Nope, not today, Satan. Excuse the way I look. We, I just woke up. But it's just heartbreaking how... No, don't show too much of me. It's just heartbreaking how somebody lost their life today. And somebody got hurt. And another innocent man that just loves us and wants to make sure that we're a better place um, an innocent man almost got seriously it, it almost got he, fatal too sorry y'all I'm just upset but it's sad and the blood will be on the hands that it'll be on because of the way this world, our country, has turned out. And just remember that us as Christians, we don't retaliate. We let mm -hmm. God retaliate for us. God takes care of the judgments. So don't don't be out there acting crazy or doing nothing crazy. Just let God handle this situation. And I promise you it'll be a lot better with God handling it than anybody here. I know a lot of you are angry. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. But... Please, please do not act like they do. Please give it to God. Let Him take care of it because He knows what He's doing and He has the final say. So don't, like He said, don't go out acting the way they are. Let's show that we can be different and let's give this to God, okay? Because we need Him more than ever all right i love you guys and make Let's sure you have a prayer okay dear heavenly father we come to you today and we praise you for everything you've done for for us and thank you for everything you've done for us and we ask you to put your hand over this country and protect all the political people that's in this country not just one but many protect and we everyone. ask that you start coming back into the the hearts and minds of the people in this country and and accept start accepting you and allowing God back in our schools, allowing God back in our courts, allowing God back in our government. Our, our founding fathers founded this country on your name. And we ask that you are with the families of the one that lost his life today. And we ask that you're with the family of the shooter who lost his life as well. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes, uh, I know it's bad, but we have to remember the shooter too, okay? He's, he, he was corrupted by Satan, like so many are, but he was a person too. Let's just hope he knew the Lord somehow, or got to a chance to know him and the innocent man who lost his life let's i hope he knew the lord as well 
This is so sad. We love you guys. And I hope you guys have a, a halfway decent night. I know it's a rough time around this country right now, but just know that God is in control. I love you guys.